Sup my dudes, Valkyr. Today we're going to be going and showcasing the brand new SR++ Rukia, the Ice Shinigami. Uh, we're going to be going over her, her SR++ and talking about her and what she does. You guys can see I got her level 65. Um, she's on Frozen Heart, Reaper, Honor, Integrity, Master Technique, Sibling, Spirit Warrior, Swordmaster, Flower, and Hero. And she has Freeze 2, very big. Uh, frozen Heart, Attack, Category Attack 110, Range plus 10%. I think she's pretty damn good, especially when paired with S-Death. Once again, S-Death is just so broken that she is uh, she's just going to be good with everybody that does anything related to Ice. So anybody with Freeze or anything like that, um, it's going to be really, really good. So let's go ahead, let's showcase what she does, and we will talk about it. She has some really, really nice animations, actually. I really like what Rukia does. Um, the animations look really good, so, yeah, I'm pretty excited to showcase and kind of show off what she can do. So, uh, I don't think, I will say that this batch of units, like Amelia, Todoroki, and, uh, Rukia were really hard to get the damage up on. It took me quite a few runs, honestly, uh, more so than normal, uh, just because they just don't do a lot of damage at rip, but... Hopefully, it's worth it now that I go ahead and get this up. So, let's see. We're going to just put her down for right now. Go ahead, activate her ability, and max her out. We're not going to use her yet, but it is coming. So, let's go ahead. Let's put down Rukia, and just look at this. Like, this is beautiful. Look at it. It's so good, and then you got the music and everything going with it. Hopefully, the music doesn't get me copyrighted. But, let's go ahead. Let's see. What's the first animation? Well, that's a nice one. Next one is going to be another circle, a bigger circle. So, oh, she like rides the ice on over to him. Oh, that's really cool. I actually kind of want to see that one like from the spectate view. Cause she like rides the ice. She does like these jumps. That's actually actually really cool. I like that one a lot. All right. So next we go up. We have absolute zero on cone, and then we get her ability ice age. Creates a frozen field and freezes all enemies for 35 seconds. And then we go ahead and we go keep upgrading. And now she's at max 292k on leader skill. So we're going to go ahead and move her to where she's getting buffed by Oshi. And we're going to put down max copies of her. So we're going to go ahead and do this. Um, and yeah, I think you can only put three down. Yeah, three is max copy. So now we have three down. We're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to put this down. And then I'm going to teach you guys a really funny interaction with S-Death. S-Death has a very funny interaction with uh, Rukia. So we're going to go ahead and max out an S-Death right here. And now we're going to spawn in... How much attack did I have to get hit by Oshi? 657k on Freeze 2 isn't bad. Uh, Doma definitely, obviously, is better because he you can raise his attack infinitely. But also, he's better off base as well. So I think Doma is a better option for the most part. But Rukia has this really funny ability that's just going to be really good. So let's spawn in 10 million. I think 10 million HP is a nice little starting point and seeing uh, how they kind of handle that. So we're going to do this. We're going to let this, uh, we're going to let them get into range. Uh, we'll let them get into range of S death. Okay. S death one shot them. I need more than 10 million, don't I? Let's go 100 million. To tell you guys, S Death's a crazy unit. Okay, so S Death can't one shot 100 million HP enemy, right? Okay, so now that they have that, we're going to activate the Ice Age. And you guys can see they're going to stay frozen. Even, with F Even when S Death hits them, they stay frozen for 35 seconds. And S Death just gets to rack up the damage because I froze them for 35 seconds, allowing S Death to just get crazy damage in. Because this is going to proc every single time, but it's not going to break because Rukia is constantly freezing. And Rukia manages to freeze and hold them for 35 seconds straight, right? They get frozen for 35 seconds straight, allowing S-Death to just pump out crazy, crazy, crazy damage. And this is the main interaction, and this is the main reason you want to bring Rukia. Because it turns S-Death into a boss killer. She's going to just murder bosses really, really quickly. Because Rukia is going to go ahead and freeze them and hold them still for 35 seconds. Allowing S-Death to constantly proc frost break on every single attack. And really, really, really pop off. So that's basically the main reason behind running Rukia. Uh, I think Rukia on her own is okay. 
I think Rukia is not anything crazy, crazy, especially whenever you compare it to like Doma or anything like that. I think Doma is absolutely better in terms of like infinites and stuff. But whenever you're not looking at infinites, whenever you're looking at raids or legend stages or anything like short term content, I do believe Rukia ends up outvaluing uh, Doma. So I do think Rukia is better in that regard. Anyways, that's basically the showcase. Rukia is pretty good. I think Rukia is really, really good and good for, like I said, any short form content. But I do think Doma beats her out in any infinite. But that's just my opinion. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Am I right? Am I wrong? Am I left? Am I right? I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.